In this video, I will explain the basic data base design of a blood bank. Before that, I would like to explain few basics. What is a database? Database is an organized structure so that contents can be easily accessed. Next one is a relational database. What is relational database? A relational database is a collective set of multiple data sets organized by tables, records and columns. Actually, database is of two types. One is top down approach and another is bottom up approach. We use normally a bottom up approach. It is called normalization. What is normalization? Normalization is used to avoid the duplications. In normalizations, there are several forms, but you use normally the three forms. The first form we use that no two rows of a data must contain a repeating group of information. It should be unique. Because of the first normal form, data redundancy increases as there will be many columns with the same data in the multiple rows but each row as a whole will be unique coming to the second normal form it must not be any part there must not be any partial dependency of a column on a primary key this is the second normal form the third normal form deals with as every normal primary attribute of a table must depend on a primary key and coming to the keys there are three keys primary key foreign key and a composite key what is a primary key? Primary key is an attribute whose value is uniquely identified. And coming to the foreign key, foreign key is an attribute whose values are intended to match the primary key. That is, it will be seen in the more tables. A foreign key will be seen in one or two tables. This represents as a foreign key. And a composite key is a combination of foreign key and a primary key. It will be seen in a bridge table mostly. And coming to the design of a blood bank, a blood bank normally needs an address, a staff categories and staff details, and a donor who donates the blood and his religion and the medications used to the donor. These are called these uh, are called entities, and, they, and the, these are these columns down the entities are called attributes. And coming to the blood bank, every blood bank has an ID, and it is represented by the primary key because it's a unique ID which no blood bank has seen because if you have many blood banks it will be of different ID so this is a unique ID we call primary and here comes the address ID here address ID is represented a foreign key because it is not unique the address can be separated in a separate table and near this it addresses address ID here is a primary key because different address are different IDs so here it has many attributes for this so it is a primary key in there the address id has a line building the number street the area locality these are called these are the attributes of an address and the city the zip code the state or the provincy the country everything comes under the address so it is separated see so you can use it as a separate table further than there will be a staff categories it is a nurse or doctor or a compounder every Staff category has a code, unique code for them. It is represented primary key, and their description as an attribute is represented. Coming to the staff, the staff has an ID, irrespective of whether it is a nurse, doctor, or anything. Each will have a unique ID, and the address of a blood bank, the blood bank ID, a staff category code. These three will all represent the function. Sorry, a foreign key, and the and the staff details, the gender, the title of them, given them the first name the last name everything is come to the attributes and coming to the donors it is donors it is a person who gives the blood bank the blood so he has a unique id every person has a unique id and the address of the uh, blood bank stable the id the religion code the religion code is because that he has a relation between the religion and the donors is that a religion a donor who donates a bad to the blood bank is related to some religion in any other way so he may donate the blood to many blood banks so or he may not so it comes a zero to many and the donor you who receives a blood you have at least one religion so it is represented as one here and coming to the medications here the medication code is represented primary key because each medication code has a unique key and the name of the medication and the description word for it is used the other details are mentioned in the attributes and here the medical conditions about if a person has attacked any particular 
this is it will condition is noted as in separate code for each fever or anything diabetes or any something like it on the name of the bus condition how is the condition name how in the first stage or second stage or third stage it depends as a condition name and the description the details are in the medical conditions normally the donate uh, donors on the medications uh, the relation is a mini to mini because donors can have one donor can have many medications and a many and a one and a medication can be and be given to many donors so it is a mini to mini relation which is not possible and it is so it is not possible and it is a violation so here we use an what you call the bridge table from meaning of donors and medications the bridge table is a combination of two primary keys and four uh, sorry primary and foreign keys here the donor id and the medication code and the comments here are the description everything that attributes comes under here is represented in the medication id sorry in this table and come here the donor's medical condition the same here follows the donors and the medication conditions as a relation is main to many so here we form a bridge between these two called donors medical condition here also the we form the pf this composite key combination of primary key and the foreign key here the donor ID and the condition code a seriousness. How serious the system, how serious the patient is and how serious the condition is. We are written in the attributes. And coming to the donations, the donor's ID is a primary key. So the person who donates is in ID is a primary key. And the donor ID, because a lot of people will be donating, so it may be not a unique. And when the donation ID is unique because is unique not the donor id the date of the donations the other details the comments everything comes under these donations at last i want to explain the violation of the rule here for every foreign key notation we use a dotted lines here 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 and everywhere you can use yes but in these donors and donations even though there is a foreign key between them here they use a straight line i think there is a violation here 